Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin and let me move my mic. Today I want to talk a little bit about Legion. I recently watched a video by Asmongold. I'm not sure if it's an old video or not, but it kind of just like resonated with me a little bit. Now, Asmongold talked a little bit about kills versus babyface and I think somebody else. Uh, it's kind of we're going back to the idea of like, hey, remember Warlord's General, how a lot of people quit? Wow. It's like Legion, there's so much content, artifact power, the PvP is... I mean, I guess everybody has their own opinion on PvP. I think it's decent. I, th I mean, it's wow PvP, like it's never going to be perfect. But I personally think it's pretty decent. From a rogue perspective, I think we have the bare minimum. I've talked about that for a while. But let's talk about like people quitting wow when, it when it's Legion and um how interesting that is when you think about it we played warlords of jenner and i salute to everybody who played through warlords the whole kit and caboodle because we had like no content if you're somebody who pves you had one raid well you had three i think but at the end of it all you had basically one raid at any given moment i mean of course you could go back to like old raids but if you're somebody who does pve content on an average daily or regular basis let's say then you probably just, you know, never really came back to old raids for the most part. You just did the newest raid and progressed in difficulty from normal, heroic, mythic, and cleared it all. If you were somebody who did PvP, we had like, what, three seasons to PvP with? One season where we had like, interesting gear. Second season where we had like, recolors of PvE gear. So like, rewards were a little bit weird. But the, I guess the PvP eventually kind of like, stabilized. It was never perfect and by the end of Warlords of Genera, there was a lot more room for a lot of classes to be playable and... We saw a lot of classes compete during BlizzCon towards the end of Warlords Jenner, which was of course very, very exciting, but we basically had no content outside of like our dailies and which were garrisons. I mean, we could go into the Tana jungle and do a little bit of that. Uh, there was some potential for world PvP, although I never really experienced any. I was playing on Dark Spear at the time, and besides getting destroyed and trashed by the multiboxer, I didn't really see any world PvP. Uh, the dailies themselves, like you didn't really have to do them if you were a PvPer and pve -er for the most part. You could just do the main content, which were the raids of the PvP, earn gear that way, you're done. Maybe even level alts. And I guess it was the best expansion for leveling alts, because after World of Jenner, which I would say was regarded as probably the worst expansion, not only by its sub numbers, which were like as low as 5.6, if not lower, it was just like, not that fun. There was nothing to do. You would get on for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and you get off. And I guess for some some people where it's like that's all you needed out of an expansion you just want to get on for a little bit that's fine but then we have legion and when you put it in perspective right legion has so much shit that it offers and i say it in the best way possible there's so much things to do you have your artifact power the pve and pvp kind of fuses together so doing both pvp and pve content i'm gonna put it as two different things helps so literally everything is all about character progression uh class hall and doing your class hall order hall quests and the main story there's a little bit of a story element uh your world quests uh, i think is the main story quests and the i guess the raids and P P part of pve part of pvp it kind of just blends together but i can only count a few things at least five things that there's to do and the grind doesn't stop i'm still grinding artifact power i actually enjoy the world quests that i'm getting uh even though it's like a lot i'm having to like all right let me take like an hour or two to get through all of the world quests that i need right to sit down and get them all down out of the way as an outer rogue i have a little bit faster moving so you know grappling hooks so i can move around but it's like really takes me time to get everything done uh asmongold compared this grind almost like more grinding the more grindy than vanilla and that's not my words that's asmongold you give him shit not me I don't know if that's true or not, never played vanilla, although it would have been awesome to try it out uh, back, way back in the day. Or uh, at least on uh, if Blizzard were to make uh, legacy servers, would be cool, I want to make a whole video on that. But there's so much content in Legion, compared to Warlords Jenner, and just the amount of difference is just like night and day. Legion gave us so much content, I have so much fun doing anything, PvE or PvP. So then it's like, you really gotta ask like, why are people still quitting in Legion? Is Legion too grindy? Is Legion bad expansion for whatever reason? And I just don't know. And this is a game that I love, and I express this multiple times in videos that this is a love World of Warcraft. I think it's a fun game. I think it has all the elements that I like out of the game. I've always wanted a game where, a lot like Star Wars Battlefront, where you're not the main hero. Although, you know, Legion gave you some quests and made you team main hero with the artifact weapons, but I digress. I want to play a game where you're not the main hero. You're just part of a much bigger lot of things 
And games like Halo, for example, where you Master Chief, you're the hero, you're the guy with the armor, and you're like the center of attention, are cool and fun. But I, it's not what I'm personally looking out of a game. So I enjoyed Star Wars Battlefront as a kid. And when I figured out that World of Warcraft is basically that game, when I learned about it in Kata, although I was thinking I would never be a PC player, never would play games on PC, boy was I wrong. I started playing, wow, it was perfect, it was the game that satisfied everything. So I guess it's just a like question, is Legion too grindy, is the artifact power too much for people to handle? Are people too used and really do want WoW to be a casual game, where they just get on for a little bit, get the daily bare minimums, and then they're off and they're happy with it? Is, is that what people want? And with how much content there is in Legion, maybe it's like too much, if people are getting worn out and they just can't compete and do the same thing over and over and over again? It's a question that has just been boggling my mind for a while and I guess I thought I should put it in a video format to discuss it a little bit. If you guys want to check out uh, the original video by Asmund Gold and he talked a little bit about YouTube content creators leaving WoW. Not really everybody leaving WoW but most of YouTube content creators leaving WoW. Uh, so his, his video is about that. Mine is more about people quitting in Legion. It's like Legion is the expansion that most people wanted. It is like it has the grindingness that people wanted. People wanted to have to grind for a while. That's part of an MMO. You grind. That's kind of fun. So if you don't enjoy grinding, chances are you don't enjoy MMOs. Unless you maybe thought MMOs were what Warlords was and then you got a different image and you know I can understand that a little. Grinding, gear, upgrades, progression. Right? That's what makes an MMO. And that's what I love about it. And there's like all these things that we have. We have the raids that are coming out, the dungeons, the mythic pluses with the ever increasing difficulty that you can keep streaming towards as much as possible. And still, it's just like, I don't know, people are leaving. So I don't really know why. So what are your thoughts on the guys? Do you think Legion is a fun expansion? And if you have any ideas why people would be leaving expansion, please feel free to write them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this video isn't a downer. I'm not trying to down anybody or whatsoever. I'm just kind of confused in terms of like people leaving. I mean, I want it could be one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm enjoying Legion, but there could be somebody who's not. I'm just trying to look at it as objective as possible. We have content. So there's stuff to do. We have progression. There's a little bit of grinding. So then, you know, grind, grind, grind. You feel satisfied and accomplished because you're building your weapon. We have world quests, which is like a fun way to do world quests. And everything is part of progression. Again, I guess like towards one or two. So like PvP, PvE, everything you do is like helps. So everybody can do anything. But we still have people leaving. We have this like revered on commercials. 9 out of 10 expansion. Yet we still have people leaving. So I just don't know. So this is why I ask all of you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go to go to bed and edit some videos for tomorrow.